Okay, so here I am in uh, downtown Toronto, uh, near uh, near Union Station, in front of a uh, in front of a, an art museum, and in front of a uh, a monument, a uh, UN monument to uh, civil and polit political rights. Uh, behind me, I'm here in Toronto to undertake my first ever uh, political action. I'm trying to out Jordan Peterson as a neo-Nazi, so I've got my sign. You can see if you're kind of out some as a Nazi, you'll need the sign, uh, Jordan Peterson, uh, Nazi. Uh, very, very simple, but uh, but it seems to get attention. I, um, I'm here for a few days to try to raise awareness uh, about uh, the fact that Jordan Peterson is uh, a neo-Nazi. I'm um, offering people cards, and there's a link on the card that they can go to my my website, and they can uh, they can go to my YouTube channel and watch videos that have examples of Jordan Peterson praising and defending Adolf Hitler as it, as he has been doing in public for uh, since at least 1996. And um, I just went to the CBC. I uh, demonstrated in front of the CBC. Uh, however, I was asked I was shooed away. I was asked to leave um, because apparently I had uh, my foot had strayed over the. Uh, uh, the line between public and private property. So they were polite about it. Um, uh, so I did leave. But then after that, so they asked me to go like next door, and I said that that's fine. Again, they were polite about it. And um, and then they set up cameras and, and pointed the cameras at me. I don't know, but it, but then they did an interview there with someone. But it it might have just been a coincidence. I don't know if they were trying to intimidate me by pointing cameras in my direction, or if they were trying to film me or something, or they're going to do a story on me. Uh, I don't know, trespassing or something like that or whatever. So I sat down on a, a bench in front of the CBC that has a statue of Glenn Gould. And um, I wasn't aware that it was uh, private property, actually. I thought it was public property. But uh, uh, anyway, oops. Um, but um, anyway, they, they, they noticed and they didn't like me being there. And um, when I saw... Um, when I saw people who came out of the building and then... Uh, I asked, I would ask them questions like, when will the CBC uh, investigate Jordan Peterson's ties to neo-Nazism? And when will the CBC inform the Canadian public that Jordan Peterson is a Nazi? And uh, they didn't like those questions. And uh, so I got some scowls. Um, I asked one guy if he worked for the CBC and he said, none of your business. And um, there was one guy who did talk to me and he said that, uh, you know, they all, the CBC knows who he is. They know that he's a, you know, a dangerous or something. Or he didn't say dangerous, but they know that he's, you know, awful. And to which I rejoined, I don't think they know really how awful. I mean, I understand that the CBC thinks that Jordan Peterson is some kind of fascist alt-right uh, creep, uh, which is correct. Uh, that's pretty easy to see from their um, rather sparse reporting of him. But. I don't think that they understand how fascistic he really is. So I've got evidence, um, but no one wants to see the evidence. The guy who was nice enough to talk to me, he um, he said he couldn't take a card. He, he, he couldn't take one. So what we see here is, um, you know, an example of Jordan Peterson has been invited into the CBC. And, um, but the person who is trying to out him as a neo-Nazi is shooed away. Uh, and may be intimidated possibly with the, the the cameras, but I don't. But but that could have just been a coincidence. They could have they could have just been doing an interview, uh, and 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 aiming a camera at me in the process. Um, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, so it could be just a coincidence. But anyway, it's uh, one thing I've noticed is that um, I've gotten some pretty angry responses, including from a Jordan someone who I took for a Jordan Peterson fan, who I thought was going to become um, physical or violent. Uh, but I didn't move or anything. I mean, I was standing on a sidewalk in in broad daylight, so uh, in downtown Toronto. So I didn't think he would do anything. But and and, and I calculated uh, right. Um, but I've also met people who, and I've met other people who uh, tell me I'm wrong and so on. And then I'll say, well, why does he say Adolf Hitler is an organizational genius? Um, if, you know, do you, you like him so much? Do you also uh, like this view or do you support this view? No, no response. Um, some, sh you know, people shaking their head and muttering something under their breath or whatever. And then, but uh, also to my surprise, a lot of people have said, yes, I agree that he's a Nazi and listed reasons why. And, and uh, 
this is fascinating to me because uh, online all I see is praise of Peterson and the criticism I see of Peterson is really facile. They make fun of his hair, they call him a grifter, they call him a benzo addict, but they never, they don't talk about his connections to Nazism. And I've spoken to um, several people, I would say six or seven, who who claimed that they who claimed that they were aware of his um, fawning statements about Hitler and so on, and you know a long list of other uh, issues. So that was kind of encouraging. So anyway, we'll see um, we'll see how it goes. I have to be careful. I have to stay within the uh, the limits of the law. But uh, um, yeah, it, it, I think it's important to do this because um, the, the Canadian media has, in my estimation, failed. Uh, to inform the public of the truth, which is that Jordan Peterson is a Nazi. I mean, how many times can you call Hitler an organizational genius and say that he was really good at order and good at speaking and good at uh, uh, reindustrializing and good at the economy and good at art and good at this and good at that before someone in the Canadian media thinks, hold on, he shouldn't be saying that. That's, that's not right. That's a problem. But this hasn't happened yet, so I feel I need to uh, push the envelope. I just can't um, push it too far. Okay, so that's me here in Toronto. Um, doing a political action, the first one I've ever done. I've never joined a political. Uh, uh, I've never joined any any done, uh, participated in any political uh, public political event or demonstration. This is a first. So bye from Toronto.